Hello YouTube, Robin Hood Bricks here, and it's Brick Haul O'Clock! With two packages from Bricklink.com and something from eBay! So, I suppose we better start with the elephant in the room, or rather, the Black Panther. Uh, I bought this set, not for the big cat actually, though that made it better value, uh, just because in Brick Nottingham, I try and have a little bit of everything, as you know, and I've already got things like a hovercraft and a helicopter and rockets and all sorts of stuff, but I don't have a half-track, so named because it's half-tracked and half-wheeled, of course, and although it doesn't drive very well on my desk, it's very satisfying driving it around. So, yeah, I'm a big fan of that. Uh, set 60159, Jungle Half-Track Mission from 2017. It was going pretty cheap. Had great stickers. I didn't come with the side build or the little buggy thing that was in that set, but uh, I didn't really want those parts anyway. Uh, just this and the cat and the minifigures. So yeah, sorted. I thought that was a great uh, addition to the city. So yeah, I might have to look out for the uh, Black Panther uh, pup now, uh, or cub, I suppose it would be, uh, which would make for a little scene, maybe uh, caged animals on a a train or something like that. I don't know. I don't really want to do a zoo. I'm not a big fan of them unless they're for ecology uh, and environmentalism. So yeah, so that's really nice. Different colour. And that incidentally is the roof piece that I've used on um, uh, all the double deckers for my 60197 train. Uh, I had to get absolute loads of those, which is quite hard to do uh, because not many people uh, enjoyed this set, I don't think. But yeah, I think it's pretty cool. Uh, some random colour showing at the back. But yeah, very nice indeed. So anyway, that was explaining that. I suppose the other elephant in the room that might require some sort of explanation is why Robin has got no trousers on. Well, <laughs> it turned out that the last... Uh, uh, forest woman donated to the channel had chewed legs on close examination so basically Robin very very chivalrously gave her his trousers uh, to wear for herself so he is down to underwear at the moment but uh, we'll have to hook out some more um, green trousers so he can have his own because we should be able to afford both on this channel. Anyway, let's get into these packages. Uh, they're two sort of relatively smaller ones and I've got an incredibly blunt knife it would seem today. Right, I might just have to rip into these. Uh, now, this one should be very exciting because the one word reason uh, for buying this was fear. Uh, and that was the book of fear. Now, I know somebody had already sent me the cover, which I've got in my bag of Nexo Knights books, uh, but it's the pages that I'm short of. So there weren't many vendors for that at all. And I had to go to Europe. So I've got one, two, three, four, five, six books from Nexo Knights, and that is the inside of that one. So I just need the inside of the blue one and two back covers. So that should all be in here. Uh, but I did have to go to Europe to get it, <laughs> specifically Italy. So I'm going to look for that. Uh, and that was the only thing I was really looking for. So again, I just uh, got everything. Ha 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 Everything I could that was appropriate uh, at the same time. So there is a back cover for my Book of Fear. Ooh. And there is... A bit grubby, <laughs> that'll need a wash, the Book of Fear pages, but it isn't chewed, is it? No, it's fine. <gasps> Thank goodness. So there we have it. Now, hang on, <laughs> I thought there was supposed to be a second back of book for this one. Uh, oh well, I'll have to buy another one of those, but um, yeah, there we go. There is our Book of Fear, which was only available in the set 70322, Axel's Tower Carrier, uh, set from 2016. Uh, but... Wow, yes. A silly collection, which I even don't have a purpose for, but they are very pretty. I think you'll agree. Uh, so we have got uh, the Book uh, of Chaos. Very nice indeed, in black. Uh, we've got the Book of Destruction in orange. Very nice. Uh, we've got the Book of Deception in yellow. Mmm. Revenge in green without a back cover. Going to have to get that rebound. <laughs> with a little sort of spider creature on. He's probably the funniest one on the inside. The Book of Fear and the Evil, Book of Evil, uh, the one in purple, uh, with another beastie in the pages. So I'm going to have to clearly do some sort of um, uh, another evil person in my city that's going to have all these books and be using them to cast some bad spells or something like that. I don't know. But uh, whatever it will be, we'll have to make a massive feature of these. Like they're all sort of spinning round the magician in midair or something like that. That sounds really good because you can attach uh, these books to clips. So maybe we could do something very uh, dynamic and uh, amazing. So, yeah, just thought of that. That's quite a good idea. I might try and write that down. 
Um, here is a black shovel, and it's not the one I wanted. It's the rounded one. You know, there's just a subtle little thing that us collectors go for sometimes. It's just variations in pieces. And the Series 1 Zombie had a square-ended um, shovel, uh, and I keep buying ones that get listed as that in error, uh, and they're always the rounded one that is very common. So I must have loads of these now that I don't need. <laughs> so that's another frustration. I almost expect it every time. When I finally get that, I'll be like, wow, it actually is there. Um, then we've got this sort of weapon slash scepter type thing. I can't work out if it's a hook for sort of like, you know, attacking people or if it's just sort of like a crescent moon or something like that on a stick. Uh, so I think it's probably the latter, some sort of scepter for a magician or something. Uh, and it came as part of the weapons pack in sets like 6918 Blacksmith Attack from 2011, which was a kingdom set. I've already got the sort of wizard staff with a sort of ball on the end. Uh, but yeah, this will be another one for my castle scene. So it's good to get that. I don't think I need any of the other weapons. Uh, then we've got a couple of things for Axel. Uh, the big Nexo Knights character, which I'll be using in my castle scene as a sort of a, uh, a Game of Thrones mountain type character, a really huge, huge person. Uh, and he's got the bull logo. So I thought this could go on his shield. That's relatively um, nice looking. I mean, some of them are very bright colours in Nexo Knights. It wouldn't go with the castle scene at all, but at least this is black, white and grey. So I thought that might be useful there. And there should be more parts for him in here yep we've got his visor in the silver which is so cool with those horns and that sort of mouth guard piece i think i'll be able to use that uh these were only uh, available in 70365 i think together at least anyway battle suit axel from 2017 as if he wasn't big enough already he's standing on a great big mech there uh, but i do like the axe head on that mech that's really nice piece actually I don't know where I would use it, but uh, very good indeed. So, yeah, so with him having that on his head, that on his shield, which is this. Maybe this. I don't know, because basically it goes on there, doesn't it? Gives us the pattern for a new shield, because he's the only one big enough to hold a shield this size. But it's a very interesting sort of spiky shield with all sorts of attachment points, maybe the horns on there or something like that. So this really could go to him. I think that would be quite good, actually. Uh, this was only on four Nexo Knight sets, including 72004, Tech Wizard Showdown from 2018, uh, which is very nice. It also has a really cool hologram there in green, which is kind of like my orange Murloc one. Hmm, printed too. I think I might need one of those, but I bet it's incredibly rare indeed, that green uh, kind of... I don't know, Tech Wizard, I suppose. <laughs> I don't really know. You'll have to tell me in the comments section what he is and what the story is to that. But uh, anyway, yeah, um, Axel should be able to use this shield. It's a bit similar to one I had already, uh, which has got a few attachments on it uh, that I was sort of considering for the same role. So we have to decide if we want the spiky one or this uh, more sort of ridged one. I was just playing around with making this sort of a hoverboard with guns on or something like that for the uh, super secret police. <laughs> So anyway, yeah, I'll play around with that. That looks good. Uh, then we've got a couple of these octagonal pipe pieces, which I've seen before, but all of my ones are in yellow and these ones are in green, which is very interesting. So I just thought I'd uh, get a couple of those to maybe use as a scene, just have that going into a wall and that coming out of a floor or something. Already looks good, doesn't it? Um, so those came on just a few sets, usually Aqua Raiders 1, like 2160, the Crystal Scavenger from 1997 which is quite a fun sub, actually, a bit clunky. Uh, and I'm not sure about that sort of eye and mouth sticker sort of combo, but yeah, I mean, at least you can see into most of it. So that's uh, really interesting. And I love these in green. I might have to look out for a few more of those. They'd look good sort of in uh, almost the subterranean scene uh, as a bit of pipe work going from A to B. Goodness knows what it's for. <laughs> uh, then we've got a couple of those neck brackets. I can't remember what they're for or if just I need one for something, obviously. Uh, an ornamental fish. Again, I don't know why I'm buying these. They sort of look like they belong in a fountain of some sort. Uh, I've got a couple. So I think the point was I wanted four so I could put them on the four corners of a fountain or something like that. Maybe that um, modern art one I've just done. Though it's a bit of a different style, really, isn't it? You see, it's almost sort of like a dragon-headed fish with his uh, face down at the bottom and his tail uh, waving in the air. So that's quite interesting. 
Um, yeah, another subway sign. Yeah, I, I, I hadn't found that bag of subway tiles that we did the other day, actually, when I uh, bought this. I thought I probably needed one more to do it, and it uh, turns out I already had about four. So I've probably got enough for two more stops if uh, I did need to do any more. So I must cease buying these now. I really must. Um, maybe I could have some signs pointing towards the entrance of subway stops. Maybe that'd be a good way to use them. Uh, anyway, these came in 10669 Turtle Lair from 2014. Obviously a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles set. Then we've got another post box in red. These are the ones I like to use with a uh, uh, envelope with wings. That's very nice. That came in a set 60100 Airport Starter Set from 2016, which is very nice little set actually for uh, what it cost, I thought. Uh, one of these weird attachment point things, probably from under the sea. Hey, hey, and another dustbin. <laughs> so these trash cans, I don't know why I've been buying them recently. It's just coincidence. Uh, but they released a new neon yellow one. Uh, and then as a friend set, I think there was a lime one, a dark azure one, and a coral one. So I thought, yeah, go on, I'll, I'll buy those. Yeah, get a bit of variety. Um, but I'd never seen the red one before. So when I saw that as well, I thought, oh, I have to buy that as well now. Uh, and the reason I hadn't seen it is because it's unique to the set 79104, the Shellraiser Street Chase from 2013, which is uh, a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle set again. Uh, the one with the cool sticker sheet with the uh, pizza sort of adverts and signs on it. I really like that uh, sticker sheet. Uh, but this was part of the gun barrel on the top of that uh, thing, uh, which is quite an interesting use of it. Uh, anyway, why am I collecting all the different colours of bins? Because I do think I have them all now. Uh, I've literally no idea. So uh, maybe we'll have somewhere that's got about 20 of them out the back for the bin men. I don't know. But um, yeah, we need to think of something, don't we? But it is quite attractive, actually. I quite like it. Very nice in red. I have to get a little dish so it's got a lid. Uh, that's very good. Right, cool. Next little baggie. Got some more plates in old grey for my mystery project that's going to be using this as a colour. The fact that it's slightly more sort of drab colour is to my advantage uh, in this case. It's not many big ones there. Uh, yeah, it's quite a big thing I'm building. It would be bigger than this uh, and therefore I need a lot. So I've got a few more in orders coming up. Oh, and then I've got a load of trans neon yellow parts now these one by ones are to go on uh guns for the uh alien conquest aliens which i've got another head there because i'm starting to buy them piecemeal as well as whole uh, a couple of these long ones uh, aerials for um firing weapons for all the flying saucers in the air to sort of be going boo 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 pew 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 uh, then a couple of the smaller of which ones rolled away somewhere uh ones of these or is it in there yeah there it is two of those to do a similar job oh and then another one of those but that's probably for under the sea as well just to hold something in three different directions at once so it'd just be a good interesting connection point because that's neon it'll probably go on the very bottom level so loads of good stuff and then a six by six kind of billboard advert now this is a bit odd actually and yeah bear in mind there is another half to this i've never seen it with both halves on sale in the same place so i thought i'd go ahead and buy the left hand part of it and then look out for the right-hand part of it uh, at a future time. So this is from the set uh, 10744 Thunder Hollow Crazy 8 Race from 2017, which is a Cars 3 set. Yeah, go figure. Uh, and it will say it's fritter time with this kind of angry looking uh, school bus on the front of it, who's called Miss Fritter, apparently. Uh, I don't know if she's a nasty character, but she doesn't look too friendly there, does she? So uh, maybe she's the uh, uh, nasty person who's misunderstood and actually has a heart of gold. Who knows? <laughs> I don't know that film at all. Uh, but I thought I'd buy that and maybe I could just stick it on the side of a building or something for decor, because it looks like it used to say something else uh, before it had this on. I don't know what that would be. V VI or something, so maybe it's Victory Lap or something, I don't know. Uh, I bet people who know Cars movies do. So, very nice uh, little haul there. Not too much, but what there was, was vital. Oh yes, the inside of the Book of Fear. Wow, now, oh, I do know actually that a couple of people keep pointing out that there's a Book of Monsters as well. 
Uh, I wanted the colourful ones, but I appreciate the Book of Monsters is actually something cool as well. Uh, I do actually have the cover of the Book of Monsters, uh, and I will be, or have I? No, I think I'm still looking out for the insides of it. So that will get added to the collection in due course for those of you who are absolute uh, completionist collectors as well. Right, let's go on to the second package. And this one, I think, is mainly new parts. And my knife seemed to work on that package. Oh no, only partially. Oh yes, enough, anyway. Uh, yeah, this is mainly new parts from new sets that I wasn't going to buy. So I thought, yeah, go on then, you've got a load of these and it'll save me buying whole sets. Uh, just check I've got everything out there. Yes, I have. And a lot of those sets were either friends or um, were Chinese New Year sets. So what I wrote as my one liner on this one to remind me what it was about uh, was Chinese New Year. Not that that's one word, but anyway. So let's get into these heavily defended stickers, which is very appreciated, even if it's a bit time consuming to get into. Right, in no particular order. I think I've bought this one before, you know. Uh, it was quite cheap, so it doesn't really matter, but it's for these two, I think, because they're uh, a video game screen, basically. Uh, so these uh, came from the 41755 Nova's Room from 2023. Yeah, I'm fairly sure I've seen that before. So, well, maybe we can have a two-player version and have two screens side-by-side -side sort of thing with the same thing on. You know, if one person's the white player and one's the red player, maybe that would work quite well. So, anyway, it wasn't expensive. <laughs> Talking of not expensive, this was crazy cheap. Uh, I just saw the sort of blue bike with the interesting pattern and a pink bike uh, with the same pattern. Uh, not to mention these ones, which could go on my half-track, actually. It's the right colour, isn't it? Um... <laughs> And I thought, well, yeah, they're quite cool. I'm not sure I need them. Uh, and then I realised that the whole sticker sheet was 12 pence. So I thought, oh, go on then. Stick it in the basket. I'll have it. Uh, so, yeah, they're really interesting, actually. Uh, so the set is 76176, Escape from the Ten Rings from 2021, uh, which I know nothing about other than they've got some uh, interesting stickers. So, yeah, there you go. Why not? Uh, then we've got another girl's bedroom here. <laughs> this one's Leanne's room from 41739, also from 2023, uh, and it's for these two stickers. Now, I think I'm having a bit of a senior moment or something at the moment, because I think I might have bought this one as well, but then again, they all look quite similar, uh, so I'm not entirely sure. And the weird thing is I do have a pink skateboard for this, so I think I do still need this one, actually, on balance. Uh, but yeah, it's mainly for the, uh, well, no, it's not mainly for the skateboard. It's entirely for the skateboard. That's all I'm interested in. Though we do have some books and whatever they are. Yeah, books, I think, mainly. And a sort of spider man -y type looking one there. Yeah, so maybe I'll be able to use others. But yeah, the skateboard is what is important. So I'll be able to fix that and get some green wheels to make the one in the set. Cool. Uh, then the next one is another friend set, the uh, Organic Grocery Store, set 41729 from 2023 again. Uh, another set with that grumpy cat in, that's very cool. Uh, this was mainly for the 2x6 Fresh Market sticker, which I can put on a 2x6 tile, of which I bought some <laughs> in here, uh, for the back of a bench, because I've really got into that. I really look out for every 2x6 sticker I can find to do that with. Uh, but it's also got some other good ones. I really like the sort of mop up in aisle three type uh, warning, which you can put on a little sort of folding thing and have as a little triangle, kind of like near my spilt milk scene, which they've blatantly copied <laughs> in this set. This is the one that came out after mine with a spill scene. You just think, well, they could have done it independently, but it's very similar to mine. Spilt milk outside a supermarket. I'm sorry. All they did was make it pink. Uh, but anyway, uh, there's some really nice egg packets here. And I did eggs on the inside of mine as well. Uh, so, yeah, that's nice. And then we've got a screen for the till. A couple of solar panels. I'm not sure I like that stylized look. Uh, but yeah, well, and even some recycle, uh, not recycle, recharge type symbols, which I might even be able to cut out if I don't like the back colour. So, yeah, that, I think that's a pretty good sticker sheet, actually. Aha, and then there's this one. Talking of cheap ones, this one wasn't so cheap, but this is so I can do more of those um, trans-dimensional portals <laughs> that we did the other day. Uh, so this is from the set 76218 Sanctum Sanctorum from 2022, as you probably know. And this is the one I was talking about the uh, other day that I could have used. 
but obviously a dinosaur probably wouldn't have emerged from that backdrop. That would be some sort of space traveller or something like that with all the, I don't know, stuff going on. And then we've got desert with some footprints, which is fun, and the mountain scenes. So we could use those all over. But I wonder if they're as small as the... No, they're a bit mm, a bit bigger than the, the dinosaur one I added, I think. Uh, but it's still not quite up to the edge, so I'll have to bear that in mind. Got a travel brochure. That'll be good in my uh, travel uh, estate agent. Another pizza box. Probably got a ton of those. Don't know what that one is. World map. That looks quite fun. Some sort of random stickers saying creme brulee and I love New York City for a fridge somewhere. That looks good. Uh, what's that? Is that a map? Uh, sort of ancient, uh, I don't know, engraving or something. So there's a few more I can use on there. And just a man in a frame, yeah? So there's a few, but it's mainly these ones that I'm looking forward to using, especially that one. I think that would be really good. Really is quite out of this world. In fact, if that one went on a black panel, you'd barely be able to tell that it didn't reach the edge, I think. Yeah, it's difficult when you've got blue, say, right next to tan colour. Anyway, that's great. Uh, so on to the pieces. We have got... Now, this is very interesting. A bag of weapons. And these ones are all bone orientated. And they're from a few Ninjago sets like 71782 Cole's Earth Dragon EVO from 2023, uh, where the character Bone Hunter is using a few of these. Uh, but we've got like a sort of bone dagger, bone horns, and a bone sword, and a bone axe. And this is what I'm going to equip all of my cavemen with. Uh, also, my cavemen that will be on top of a mammoth riding down the street, having presumably just used one of those interdimensional portals. So I thought when I saw these, I was like, yes, need those immediately. <laughs> so a couple of bench backs in uh, white for stickers. A 6x6 six six tile in black. Now, I think this is to put one of my pre-existing stickers on, one of those uh, computer game ones on just to make a billboard. I think it was a, nin a Nintendo set or something like that. I had a really good big sticker and I needed that to put it on. Uh, this person who clearly bought the uh, organic grocery store had a few parts from that set. So I got them uh, just in case I wanted to do another spillage scene with bright pink. So you needed the sort of splodge that I've used as a ghost before, but that was in a different sort of dark pink color. So that's that. Uh, what else came from that set? Uh, that might be it actually. This is very nice. So it's one of those sort of pointy tiles, but with the print of some doors and a great big clock on it. Now this comes from 40478, the mini Disney castle from 2021, which I didn't really know about. Uh, not really up my street, but I love this piece. And obviously that's a mini build. So these are real life doors sort of thing. And that's a huge clock. But I thought on this scale, on minifigure scale, it could be the face of a grandfather clock. And you just need a sort of case beneath it for the pendulum and so on and uh yeah i think that'd look really smart so that's what i'm planning to do with it and it's a very good focal point for the top of it like it oh then we've got loads of chinese new year stuff so from the set 80111 which is the lunar new year parade from 2023 which is the one with the freaky rabbit on it <laughs> that really freaks me out it's it's kind of scary if you ask me but i do love the big drum uh, that they're beating on the uh, sort of uh, thing behind in the parade. Uh, there's loads of pieces that I've bought. Uh, you know, that set, I don't know if it's sort of £80 or something like that, but I've basically cherry-picked all the bits I wanted uh, for a few pounds. And one was this unique loot with printing, which is miles better than the one uh, my Troubadour from Series 22 has got, uh, with all this sort of ornate gold on it and all the rest. So... I don't know whether I want to give this one to my troubadour or have somebody in my city using it, but um, I suppose it'll get viewed here a bit more, but I really like that. Or it could go in my castle scene, actually, couldn't it? So, yeah, I love that. Really pretty piece. Uh, those I'm going to come back to because I'm going to do all the ones that I can see from the Lunar New Year Parade first. So another big feature of that was these massive minifigure heads, which I think are supposed to be masks, but they still sort of fit onto minifigure bodies. And I didn't know if I wanted to use them as two sort of characters, maybe advertising something or have them down a fairground as two people wearing them for sort of uh, entertainment value or if they're even just balloons or something like that. But they are very odd. 
And if you know the story behind these, if they're a tradition in their own right, then I'd be interested in hearing them. But uh, yeah, very, very fun uh, looking. <laughs> Completely crazy. So uh, yeah, I was planning to... Uh, yeah, see, they look ridiculous, don't they? I was planning to use those somewhere, but yeah, I wanted them. Uh, then also from that set, we have the uh, red uh, trans head with the rabbit on, which I've now lost underneath the stand of my <laughs> camera. Come out. There we go. Typical rabbit. Um, so there we go. He's very nice. I've already got the Year of the Ox one and the Year of the Tiger one. I imagine they'll keep doing these until we've got all of the different years. Is there 10 or 12? I forget. Uh, but so I wanted that. So I'm probably going to stick that on the awning of my noodle bar in my mall because that's where I put the others. Uh, so that's really nice. Sort of collecting them now as well. I'm such an addict. <laughs> Some heads from that set include the lady at the bottom who looks relatively normal, but has got a very joyous face on this side. And then this comedian, who's got normal glasses on one side, but then he's donned his Year of the Rabbit specs on the other. So I thought that was really good fun as well. Uh, both unique to that set, 80111. So I wanted those. Uh, get rid of these bags. I'm nearly getting there now. Got another mound of stuff to go through over here. But uh, yeah, so some other... Oh, no, they were from a different set. Well, who else was from here? I think that was about it, actually. So from the other uh, set that was New Year's, which was the uh, 80108, uh, which was called the Lunar New Year Traditions from 2022, I also didn't have these unique sort of track suits. So I thought I'd get his and hers with this logo on the back, which is sort of like a Chinese dragon, I suppose, but it could be anything, really. Almost looks like the logo of a tattoo shop or something like that. So they're quite good fun to have two of those. Uh, and the other character that came in that set was the grandmother, whose head did I get? No, I don't think I did, uh, but I've got the hair for some reason. Uh, and that is another unique torso from 80108 uh, with the sort of pearl, uh, pearls around the neck, a sort of logo on the jacket, I suppose you call it, and a bit of a collar on the back. So yeah, you know me, I like to collect absolutely everything. Oh, there's the head. Um, so I thought I had to have that. She can be running around my city. So these two heads must be going with these two track suits. And they were quite reasonably priced. I suppose nobody bought them from this store in last year's, uh, blah, last year's New Year set. So when this one came up and they were still available, I guess they must have discounted them. But yeah, they look like a good couple. Cool. Um, then we've got a cat. Now this cat is called Socks and is from one of the Buzz Lightyear sets, 76832, XL15 Spaceship from 2022, which is a very lovely spaceship. And this is a very lovely cat, actually. Lovely pink nose, a nice expression, nice collar on the front. I don't really collect cats, uh, but then again, maybe I do, and I just don't want to admit it. I don't know. <laughs> I've got too many collections already. But yeah, that's a very pretty looking cat, actually. So I have to put socks somewhere very visible in the city. Love that. So we haven't got a huge volume this time, but we have got absolutely loads of killer stuff. Uh, now, this is another thing that I tend to get uh, one of everything. Uh, just a bike frame, but it's in Dark Azure, which I've not had before. Uh, it's only been in two friend sets. 41738 Dog Rescue Bike from 2023 being one of them. Uh, so yeah, that's why I don't get uh, certain things when they only appear in friend sets because, uh, well, friend sets are rubbish. Yep, there you go. I said it. I went there. <laughs> uh, but another thing from those friend sets is is this, a mini little gecko. And he's got a lovely little pattern on his back. I hadn't seen that from the catalogue because in the catalogue he's just looking like that. It looks like he's got a tiny bit on his head. He's actually got loads on there. So I can use that on my exotic, uh, exotic pet shop. Uh, and this uh, guy is called Popcorn, apparently. And he came in that Leanne's Room set, 41739, that we looked at earlier. Uh, and maybe another one as well, I think. Uh, so, yeah, he was a bit of an extravagance. I don't know why I want him, but he is quite cool. So, yeah, fair enough. Popcorn, the gecko come salamander. I don't know which one is which or what the difference is, quite frankly. Uh, then some legs, and last but not least, some football kits. So the, um, what was it called? Table football set came out, 21337 uh, from 2022. Uh, and I don't want all of the different uh, 
torsos and so on. Uh, but I did think I could have a gathering of four football players, uh, three outfielders and one uh, goalie. And I really like this goalie's um, strip with the orange on and this sort of uh, blended colour front and back. Uh, so I can change the hands out for yellow ones. I mean, might want gloves, actually, being a keeper. Uh, and given that he's got the sort of brick on its corner uh, logo, uh, the outfield players had to have the same, obviously, for them to be teammates. So I went for the red team rather than the blue team. There's also a cool, um, the other keeper's sort of lavender colour, but I think that was less good than these lot anyway. So that's just for one group of people. Maybe they're getting off a bus or onto a bus to go to practice or something like that. Uh, but I just like those, so I thought I'd get them. Uh, and that, if you include my uh, Black Panther and my incredibly huge half-track, is the haul for today. And what a really good uh, lot of pieces it was. As I say, not a huge volume, but I love my interdimensional portal capability. I love my Book of Fear. I love these minifigure parts and these sort of really special ones for yourselves elsewhere. Give me ideas for what I should do with them. Uh, a few bits and bobs for the castle scene as well including that loot, the clock, pipes, yeah, all sorts. Lots of projects covered there. Uh, yeah, really happy with it. So we did it. We finally completed the Coloured Nexo Knight book collection, albeit a bit disappointingly without one of the gold back covers, which I now need to put back on my wanted list. Uh, and yeah, the inside of the Book of Monsters technically as well. But yeah, very good to have that achievement uh, reached. It was quite a hard one, I must say. Uh, so as always, thank you very much for watching. It is appreciated. Do remember to like, comment and subscribe for more awesome LEGO videos. And if you value this channel, do remember to click on the links in the description below. Uh, and next time on Robin Hood Bricks, we'll be doing a build in the city on Friday. I think uh, I want to do some more work in that back corner that's uh, currently undeveloped and try and sort out all the buildings that are in a bit of a mess at the moment and get it looking lovely. So until then, see you! Read the Book of Fear. Read its page.